Good afternoon everyone. This is YC from YC Cooks and Bakes. Today I'm just going to be making some easy pumpkin brownies for dessert. And I've never made this kind before uh, and we wanted to try them. So I thought you might want to see how I do it. Right now I'm at the stove and I'm using a small pot and I'm going to melt half a cup of butter, you know, one stick. And I'm going to melt this, so this will take time, it'll be on low, some um, chocolate morsels. They can be, you know, the semi-sweet kind. You see what I'm talking about. Little chocolate chips. So about six ounces. And I am going to melt this like a medium low. Um and get all this mixed together and then I'm going to set it aside. Don't worry, I will have this recipe in the description for you. So please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel so you can get all my recipes at your fingertips. Okay, I have the uh, chocolate morsels melted with the one half cup of butter and I just set it aside. And the next step is to take a cup and a half of sugar and four eggs that you bring to room temperature and you mix them, you combine them together. And you can use your um, electric beaters for this if you want. And then we'll be adding um, flour, salt, and baking powder. And you don't want to over mix this either. I'll go ahead and use my little whisk, I guess. Okay, at this time you can add in a teaspoon of salt, like that, and also um, a teaspoon of baking powder. and two cups of all-purpose flour. And combine all these ingredients until they're all mixed together. Okay, once you have all that mixed together and, you know, just mixed, not over mixed, you know, like you do muffin batter, you just mix it just till it's mixed and that's done. Um, you will be dividing this in half. Um, half will be for your pumpkin mixture, and then half will be for the um, chocolate and butter that you melted on top of the stove. Um, and I'm not about um, messing uh, up a million bowls, so I'm going to take half this mixture and put it right in that pot where the chocolate and butter are. Okay, um, let's see, I'll go ahead and do that at this time. I just don't see the point. You know, messing up this and that if you don't have to. This is the tricky part, though. Okay. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to call that even. I'm going to call that even, Steven. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. All right. 
right? So this is what it looks like. <gasps> I'm pouring it everywhere. So you mix it up with the chocolate, now that I've made a mess, and the butter. And this part, we're going to put the pumpkin in. Let me get this cleaned up. <laughs> Okay, I have that uh, cleaned up. I think since I took it off the stove for a while and it had cooled a bit, I was thinking it was thicker than that. But now I know because, like I said, I've never made this one before. Uh, and I usually use cocoa in brownies and not chocolate chips. I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, um, on this next half that you left in the bowl, you're going to put in your pumpkin. And you're going to put in, uh, it's pure pumpkin. Uh, make sure that it's not pumpkin pie mix. It'll say pure on your can or when you look in the ingredients on the can, it'll just say, you know, if you're not using a real pumpkin, it will say um, pumpkin, ingredient pumpkin. That's it. And um, you want a one and a quarter cups and you see where I smashed it down uh, with a spatula. So, yeah. I'll go ahead and put that in here at this time into the other half of the batter. Okay, it smells good. And then you want to put in, um, you can use pumpkin uh, pie spice, like a teaspoon. I'm only going to use a, a half a teaspoon of allspice and a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And you put those in and a quarter cup of you can use vegetable oil or canola oil whatever your household buys okay so this is um, the other half of that batter the pumpkin cinnamon and uh, you can use pumpkin uh, pie spice I don't buy that a lot of people do now I understand so you can use that okay and I have a, a pan this is a no stick pan, but I also sprayed the bottom of it. You probably can see it on there. Okay. And it'll go anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes at uh, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of these, since I have it divided up between the chocolate and the pumpkin, I'm going to put one layer and then I'm going to put another layer in. And then, um, you know how you drag your knife through it to make a design and then you just I kept um, a third cup of the morsels I'm just gonna sprinkle some on top of you you know to make it look good but you don't have to do that that's just that's optional and that's basically all there is to it if you have a can of pumpkin in the house that's pure pumpkin and um, you know, regular baking stuff like flour and salt and baking powder and that, get yourself some chocolate morsels, you could do um, these simple pumpkin brownies. So I think you'd have most, other than the pumpkin or the chocolate morsels, you'd have most of the thing else in the house. Um, and the eggs, you know, of course people buy eggs. It does use four though. That's the one thing that did surprise me that they use so many. And that's, watch I spill this too, but that's what it looks like. Okay. And I am going to go preheat my oven and I'll be right back. Okay. I don't think it matters what one you uh, put in the bottom or which one you layer first because both the chocolate and pumpkin uh, flavors have the same batter it was just divided up so chocolate's very good um, I'm going to show you I put the chocolate on the bottom and you will see what we do with it I know it's dark in here I'm going to go ahead and layer the pumpkin on now okay now I layered the pumpkin on top of the chocolate you can see that okay I tried to put more light in here for you and my oven just sounded off that it is ready at 350 I'm just gonna take this knife 
and um, I'm going to pull it to try to make a design. Um, I don't see where it's pulling up the chocolate like you would see. I have done mixes like this where you pull it up and um, you'll put, you know, it'll bring up the chocolate from the bottom. Unless I was just supposed to put that on top. It doesn't, um, you know, when you look stuff up, sometimes it doesn't specify. Okay. It didn't bring it up. Very strange. Because I have made stuff similar to this before that would bring it up. Oh well. This is my first time making this recipe. Okay. I think the idea is not to be so neat from the get-go. I'll, I'll uh, show it to you. It looks like it did, you know, made it marbly on the side. You can see on the side, on the edge where it went marbly, but anyway, I'm just going to take um, these leftover morsels and I'm going to sprinkle them on top and see what that does. Okay, I put the chocolate chips on top. And um, I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven now for about 30 minutes. I think what I'm going to do next time is try to layer them the opposite way and see if that doesn't make a difference. I don't know if uh, because the weight of pumpkin or, you know, because one is fluid with butter like the chocolate. I don't know if that makes a difference or not. Um, if you see a little not in here we're still experiencing temps in the 80s in november but anyway um i'm gonna try if i'm sure we're gonna like the taste of them and what i can do is next time i make them layer it the opposite way and see if that doesn't make a difference and i know um, a lot of you women out there make stuff like this all the time and you're probably screaming at this video right now do it the other way <laughs> but anyway i'm learning so i will see you when it's done Okay, my pumpkin brownies are out of the oven and they really don't look like anything. They look like uh, blondies, <laughs> except a little bit darker. They look boring. Um, so this is something I'm gonna have to work on. It, it smells amazing in here. I know they're gonna taste good, but I think what it is, I think what, what what kept messing with me was that the batter, it's the same batter, just divided up between the chocolate and the pumpkin. But now that I'm thinking about it, the pumpkin one should have went on the bottom because the pumpkin with the batter was thicker. And the uh, chocolate and butter with the batter, the butter is still making it more fluid. And when you pour that fluid on top, the minute you put your knife into it to pull it and drag it to make a design, it'll separate the pumpkin and uh, the flour mixture enough for that fluid butter mixture to seep in uh, and make that design. And I'm thinking that's what the problem was now uh, because, well, we have this thing on earth called gravity. So, <laughs> but I, I think that's what it is. But anyway, they, they look boring, but I think they're going to taste great. And um, I can't cut them until I let them cool. So I'm going to tell you to have a great day because I have to cook supper now. Bye.